out that's there. What, that's what um, Darnell said when 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 I spoke with him um, on both occasions. He said that one of the in the nineties there was himself, you know, um, Maxwell, R. Kelly, everyone had a message of love. But when they got to the 2000s and all the conglomerates came around, they took away that message of love. And now hip hop is, you know, of the music that was coming out isn't about love and isn't about family. It's about money. It's about wealth and showing off. And that has a negative effect on the black community when in the 90s it was about love and, you know, can we talk in all these kind of relationships? And now that's not the message we're hearing on the radio and not the message our kids are listening to when they're listening to music. My kids, my kids right now, those five songs that I mentioned, if I put them on right now, my six and seven year old will sing every lyric to those songs. They think those songs <laughs> out now. <laughs> they, think, they think those songs are current because they hear it so much. You know, I, 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 I keep a real controlled environment as far as what they're hearing. They're going to hear what they're going to hear as they get older. But as we are dealing with the foundation, of, of understanding uh, what love is, what family is, who you are uh, as a as a young man, as a young lady, yo, you need to hear the the uh, the the uh, the meat of it, you know, not mm -hmm. just, you know, what I'm saying, and and, and you know, and, and, and to Donnell's point, that's one of the reasons why LL Cool J is has been so important to hip hop, because he's probably one of the only rappers that kept the concept of love present in hip hop the entire time. Every era, every generation, he continued to round the way, girl, I need love. I can love you better. With my man, Mark Dorsey, and you know what I'm saying? In those mm -hmm. types. So shout out to him, you know, for being one of the few that, con that consistently kept the concept of love out front, you know, for young people who are following hip hop because there must be balance when it comes to everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta be, you have this and you got that, you got that and you got this. Yeah. Much of one thing in any direction, because you know, listen, all of us are men where uh, many of us are fathers. Some of us are husbands, you know, uh, some of us are just, you know, just people look up to, you know, for, as an example. So we're not, simply just living hip hop lives. We're also living a life and we're bringing culturally the hip hop aspect of it into it. But for the most part, yo, sometimes you're just sitting down with your son or your daughter and doing their homework with them because they're in the second grade. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. there's, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's so many things to like. This is why Marvin Gaye is one of my all-time favorite. And Stevie as well and Michael as well. Because Marvin Gaye is going to talk about God is love. He's going to say right on. He's going to have another one right on. He's going to say what's going on. Inner city blues makes me want to holler the way they do my life. Crime is increasing. Trigger happy policing. Then he's going to come back and say, let's get it on. And then he's going to do another one after the dance. Then he's going to come back. See, so that's life. To live life in totality. There is the party mm -hmm. side. There is the part of romance. There is the family side. There is the business side. There's this, you're, you live one life and everything is all inclusive. So you could never compartmentalize where everything is put here or everything is put there. So everything needs to be balanced. We had Jodeci records where they talk about freaking you, but then they have another Jodeci song where they say, I would just love to see you walking by a wave. It would really make my day. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, that nuance, babyface mm -hmm. coming, dude, not going to cry. Should have left your ass a thousand times. <laughs> and he's going to come back. He's going to, let's not wait till the water runs dry, you know. But, you know, uh, pour the wine, light the fire. Your wish is my command. Because there's so many things mm -hmm. that with being alive, there's so many aspects of what goes with being alive. And these guys are like prophets of love. You will find. Songs in the key of life, you will find, have a talk with God. Isn't she lovely? The birth of my daughter. Village ghetto land, what we're going through in the co uh, community. Black man. And then you'll go back and you'll say, I wish those days will come back once more, reminiscing about your childhood. And then Sir Duke, we're going to talk about some history. Duke Ellington, Ella Fitzgerald. 
knocks me off my feet. There's something about your love that makes me weak and knocks me off my feet. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. so Michael does that. All the, the Many of the great artists, they're able to kind of reach out and find all of these different aspects of life, balance it out by talking about all of this stuff. And I think those are some of the greatest people we've ever seen ever write a song, ever be an artist, you know, and I, I admire that about them. So to your point, Donnell's right. You know, there was a message of love. And then we went away from the message of love in R&B, you know, and uh, uh, I say like Paul McCartney, no matter what uh, uh, trend comes and no matter what trend goes, there will always be a place in the world for a simple love song. So all Mm -hmm. my writers and artists never stop writing those simple love songs, never stop saying Last night I saw you standing, you know, and I, I started pretending I knew you and you knew me too. <laughs> don't don't ever stop writing that. Don't ever yeah. stop writing, you know, because we're all going through it. We all get butterflies, you know, when we think about the person we have a, a crush on and that kind of thing. A uh, shout out to Tony Thompson. Worked with him. High five. Uh, uh, all summer long, we've been together and, uh, and I've never felt so good because mm-hmm. when I'm with you, that's a good time. We... We're still living that. People who are young and, and, and old, you know, young at heart, they're still living that. So where's the music that that amplifies or that speaks to that feeling in people? We need it. You know, we yeah. need that. All, all you creators out there, no matter what comes and goes, don't lose focus that we still do need those things that speak to those feelings that we are experiencing every day. Do what you do, but don't forget that. Let's keep a balance going. Definitely. No. Definitely. <laughs> well, don't worry, this will be one of many. Uh, so yeah, it, yeah, I definitely I can definitely see yeah, us having more chats with this and probably the next time we'll go live because it'll be great to get people to tune in and be able to ask questions along the way as well. Let's yes. do it. Let's yeah. do it, man. Hi, right, my brother, appreciate you, man. God bless you. Yes. Thanks for merit. It is half past midnight here, so um yes, I'll I'll be Heading out. So. <laughs> I'm just getting started. It's, it's, it's almost eight o'clock here, so I'm good. <laughs> oh, I think, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's half past midnight, but I, I really enjoyed the interview. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll be in touch, definitely. <laughs> Bless you, man. Peace. <laughs> thanks a lot. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of Halftime Chat. Please remember to subscribe, share, and comment. But most importantly, why don't you become a member of Halftime Chat? We've got amazing videos, amazing perks, and um, being able to support the channel. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. I never participated in that category.